Hey guys, welcome everyone to Roofing Insights Show. My name is Dmitry Lipinski and today we're talking about CRMs. I'm taking you to my own company, Storm Roofing in Minneapolis, and I'm gonna show you how we organize our CRM, what's behind our process and why process is crucial for any roofing company if you wanna scale your business. Thank you so much for coming. So a couple of weeks ago, we started talking about CRMs and I did the first soft video overview and several CRMs I used. And I have a lot of questions from a lot of roofers in our communities asking, hey, Dmitry, can you show us how you do things? And it's a little bit tricky because uh, there is no magic pill when it comes to CRM. CRM, it's a your process, how you deal with your customers, customer relationship management platform. Everybody does it differently. I've been uh, doing it completely different five years ago when I had one employee, today I have 10 employees and I implement a different process, but you have to understand your process. So uh, first things first, I'm a very visual person and your CRM online on your phone and on my phone, I literally can uh, track any job uh, at any given point and know exactly who is working and who is assigned, who is accountable for that process. So for example, here we have this wall, we have a Jesse who works uh, for us as a production manager and he manages this five buckets. For me, CRM, it's all about buckets. So w w first thing, what you have to do, you have to stop and brainstorm what existing process looks like right now in your company. Uh, from the moment where your customer comes to you first, giving you a call and saying, hey, I want a roofing estimates, to the time where you're closing the job and saying invoice. You know, who's going to run appointment? Who's going to pull a permit? Who's going to schedule order materials? If it's one person, it's fine, but it's all buckets. And for me, the more people you have later, you can just uh, say, hey, you're going to be working with this bucket and so on. So what Jesse have here, this is just um, our, like we have five weeks backlog right now for our repairs. So we have manager review uh, bucket, we have materials ordered, we have repair a warranty, a repair schedule, and repairs in progress. So at any given time, Jesse comes here and he knows right now he has one, two, three, four, five, six folders in repairs in progress. This is happening right now. This folders right here, they're scheduled, they're not happening yet. This is a repair warranty, means it's kind of a, our production in repairs, but we're not gonna get paid because we have to come back or do some r random stuff. And this is you know how he manages materials. Again, this is just the repairs. Uh, we also have different process for full jobs. So in here, like for example, we have our bigger job. So we have our siding, roof schedule, roofs, 19 gutters, paint, insulation, and then finally counting. So this one here, it's pretty much mimics our CRM online. You can see right away we have green and red folders. Again, just because we have different processes for everything, re green is retail jobs and the red folders, it's your insurance jobs. So right now I know I have a supplementer in house, so person who just does insurance supplements. Uh, he grabs folders randomly because he have to look up or call insurance company or sometimes they call us and they have a question. So he comes in, grabs, very easy to locate. Again, different folders have different buckets. Uh, once it's in accounting, it goes completely different bucket. So accounting can come in and say, okay, I have five or six jobs here and uh, they have to be billed or we're waiting for insurance uh, to pay for them or issue checks. Very easy, easy to understand. Now, what you don't see that accounting has a five or six buckets online. It'll be a bucket like, you know, invoice send or uh, need to follow up or uh, pay, uh, pending payment. If, if it's a bad debt, sometimes it happens, you know, 1% of your jobs, you'll have hard time to collect. It's gonna go to different bucket. So each person in our company has probably five, six different buckets. So the first bucket we, have for production as manager review. So before these guys even will get a job, manager has to review it. So what happens is, you know, uh, sales process have, I wanna say five to eight different buckets for us. So it's initial estimate, then uh, pending contract, signed contract, 
uh, once we have signed contract and we have money down and we have all the work orders done, now manager, sales manager, not going to just give production that uh, job. He has to approve it. He has to check that, yes, in fact, everything that we require is in a folder. He's going to give it to them. So again, that bucket sometimes might have 20 jobs. And because there's only one person accountable to it, you can, as the owner of the company, you can look from, you know, very top view and say, hey, why this guy has 20 jobs? Why my accounting has 50 jobs? So for example, if you don't have money on the payday, you can say, hey, why we have 45 open jobs and they're not being invoiced yet? So it's very easy to troubleshoot, very easy to find a problem and address it with the person who manages it. Sometimes you'll have you know, sales managers slacking off and you'll have 28 jobs and maybe homeowners calling you and saying, hey, I gave you guys down payment three weeks ago. Why nobody is calling me yet? And you cannot address it with production because it's not in production yet. The manager didn't review the folder and he has 28 jobs to review. So if you do it like this, you will always know who drops the ball. And I see a lot of guys, especially startup companies, they never know where they are. So I highly, highly recommend you start with the process, write it down. If you use company like Job Nimbus, later you can simply call your Oculinks, your Job Nimbus, your Contractors Cloud, whoever you're using for CRM to make it digital, you pretty much tell them exactly how you operate and they will help you to make it digital. I don't even need all these folders. Like this is literally just uh, when I print something so I have a folder to drop it in. I have everything online and then some and that's what matters. Like you have to have a digital process so you can work on your iPhone and your iPad so you can you don't have to rely on your process here. We have another wall here, let me show you. So for example, this is my uh, insurance wall. You can see it's pending insurance review. So when insurance jobs just getting sold and my supplementer have to initially review it, it's gonna go here. He's not gonna even let our production to, ta to take over. Then uh, uh, <clears throat> next one is ready to be supplemented, supplemented and settled. So you see there's a four different buckets just for one person for my insurance supplementer. But guess what? My sales guys always have questions. Hey, Chris, are you working on this? Or where are we at in the job? Well, guess what? Even right now, you can see we're at end of the year, we're not selling anymore. I mean, we have quite a few jobs, but you can see how many settled jobs we have. This settled jobs, we probably either recently finished or waiting for insurance to send checks or um, pretty much have some items to finish and to, uh, complete the jobs but this is the process now uh, in June we might have all of them in here and why we might have a talk with our supplementer and say hey dude you have way too many in review we need them to move in production can you please you know maybe stay extra hours or maybe come in on Saturday and work on them because we need you you know your walls off balance so this is how it works guys uh, my magic number to buckets is about 50. I don't believe any human being can be efficient with more than 50 folders at a time now it'll be time when you know like your June July August you know for us in Minnesota October is one of the busiest months when you literally will have 50 folders. If you're a sales manager, you'll have 50 folders to approve. It's hard, it's getting hectic. And that's where maybe you need to start talking about bringing another person on board, maybe another supplementer, another sales manager, maybe another production manager, because when your production manager has 50, 60 roofs to schedule, you know, and they have to be done with the next two, three weeks, it's getting hard. So now you know your buckets are overflowing and you need help. But when you can look at your buckets and they always have your manageable amount of folders, 10, 20, 30, you know, maybe you don't need help. Maybe you don't even need as many people as you have right now because you don't have buckets for them to work on. So next I'm gonna show you how it all looks online. So again, guys, uh, CRM literally starts with a piece of paper or a whiteboard where you have to write down what happens from the moment you, f uh, you first receive a call. Hey, can I get an estimate to the last you know, issue, certificate of completion or whatever the last step is. 
final work. So this is how it looks. Uh, in our company, we have five major um, buckets or departments, sales, production, billing, work orders, and insurance. So if you go to sales, so you can see here how many buckets we have. You have you know, property owners, agents, you have leads. So right now I have six leads, 11 schedule inspections, uh, on hold tasks created. I have 169. So what that is, it's all the recent uh, estimates that we uh, have, we have some kind of task. So we've been busy, you know, usually it's be after one month. And you can see how many days the folders are, or files are staying there. You have, you know, some of them 25 days, 31. It's sometimes you're picking up colors, you're going back and forth. Then we have uh, one review jobs. We have signed contracts, 30. We have pending insurance review, eight. So which means, you know, we have eight jobs that we do have insurance folders, insurance claims started, and uh, my supplementer have to look at them. We have uh, manager review has only one right now. We have one manager review repair and so on. Then you have settled one, you have rehash, and you have lost. And you have to also mark them lost. So when homeowner tells you he went with somebody else, See, as a business owners, we're often delusional. We always hope that, hey, maybe it come back or they'll do something later. Well, for me, you have to mark your losses. You have to more, you know, know your rejects. Uh, I also see here that I have six potential opportunities called rehash. So jobs that I have to go in and, you know, maybe give them a call again because they wanted more information later. So this is my sales process. Now you can see there's... I, I don't know, I didn't even count, but probably like around 10, uh, I would say six, seven very active buckets, but overall 10. Then you have your production bucket. Production is very important. We've been in production ro room. You kind of see where they are, but this is how they look like. You have manager review approved. Now we have zero there. We have 13 jobs in the repair warranty. We have repairs scheduled, 11 jobs. Again, if somebody would call me right now, I can be in Florida enjoying myself and maybe nobody's in the company, but if I'm getting a call and homeowners asking me, hey, where are we at, what's going on? I go here and say, hey, uh, it looks like your repair is scheduled. I click on the file and tell them exactly where the schedule or what the delay is. Uh, we log in all our phone calls. So once I open the file, I'll see the last person who managed the file or spoke with the homeowner. And if co homeowner calls me direct and I have that conversation, I'm going to go in, open the folder, and I'm going to say, spoke with the homeowner. He called me pissed because you know, we didn't follow up. And I let my team know that we have a pissed customer we have to deal with. Then uh, we have no materials order uh, files. Right now we have one roof pending. Again, we're in December. We don't do any roofs right now. We have one roof scheduled. Uh, we have five siding jobs pending. We have uh, zero siding schedule, so up to date there. We have 13 gutter jobs. We have two paint jobs. We have three insulation jobs ready to be supplemented and so on. So everything you see here mimics digital. Again, I don't need my folders. I can look up here. And the coolest part about Job Nimbus, and this is not plug-in for them, but majority of them, majority of the good CRMs, you can do this. You can literally take one folder and drag it to another. When you do that, it literally will travel from one bucket to another. So I just added, I probably messed up something, so I better put it back. But this is how easy it is. Once you travel, uh, you can set up a, a triggers like just me dragging it from one bucket to another we can generate email to the homeowner. Hey, your job is scheduled now. Uh, or can generate invoice if I go from work complete to accounting and all of a sudden job, you know, homeowner got invoice. You can set it up, customize it any, any, how you want it. But again, I have uh, roofs. Uh, we have a bucket called Spring 2019. We have a whole bunch of jobs there already. Again, no matter what you do in your company, you need a CRM. You need to understand your process. CRM is all about the process. If you don't understand your process, you shouldn't even have CRM. Uh, CRM starts with the process, starts with the office, um, and from that point forward, it's only getting easier. Again, five years ago, I only have one employee, 
and right now I have 10 at any given point I can see who is working on what and uh, I can walk away from my business and still know exactly what's happening just one more thing I want to show you and that'll be just how our billing for example looks like so we have accounting we have insurance settled which is insurance supplements and it's 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 all your sell bill collect essentially but uh, you cannot run your business on sell bill collect model you have to have more sophisticated processes than that uh, we have for example uh, for my accounting and this is entire you know department you're talking about we have one two three four five six seven eight buckets so what are buckets are In insurance settled uh, invoiced we have zero right now finance pending we have returns to the homeowner uh, refunds to the homeowner pending you need to have those you need to know exactly who you refunds and you know when you have to give them refunds we have 15 jobs that pending payments 15 people owe me money we have paid and closed recently that 700 people paid me and closed I think in the last you know two months or so on and then we have office final review so this is how my buckets look like again you can do it any way you want but i highly highly recommend you start start at the whiteboard write down your process uh it doesn't matter if you have two employees five employees 20 employees this is always changing if i go right now and uh, hire two three more people and might create a few more buckets or we have to implement another uh, department or another bucket to protect the company or be more efficient we'll do that we'll just call job name we'll say hey we need one more bucket and one more trigger that's easy but you have to have at least a base to keep growing your company hope it helps let me know what you think more content like that going to be coming out a lot in 2019 don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you need help to grow your roofing business let me know how i can help thank you guys so much for coming Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think about the topic today in comments below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel.